Alright y'all, my name's Tim and we've got a new website called TexasBenchRest.com and it's for a bunch of us down here in Texas. There's probably about a hundred of us that shoot on three different ranges. We all shoot um, center fire bench rest. And um, last night, usually we shoot anywhere from 300 to 1,000 yards. It's almost always long distance stuff. But on our website, we have a forum. And last night, I was talking to one of our shooters, Joe Duke, with Little Creek Rifles about how or what's his favorite method of finding the lands on his rifle because everybody seems to do it different. So after our discussion I thought well I'm going to try my new video camera out and uh, see if I can demonstrate this so that's what this is all about. It might be kind of dorky but we're going to try it. Anyway, so this is the way Sam or uh, Joe said he did it and I really like his method. Um, this is a Bat M action. Um, it's on a Thule MBR stock with a Krieger uh, four groove barrel. Um, first thing you got to do is take your bolt and a firing pin removal tool, and you got to remove the firing pin. So this one, you actually operate it with the heel of your hand. You push down, twist it while you're pulling, and the firing pin assembly comes out. You want that out because when you insert your bolt, you don't want any resistance so you'll be able to feel when you hit the lands and grooves. So we got that done. I'm working with a 65284 uh, cartridge today. And what you want to do to start out is you want to seat that bullet a little bit long so it hits the lands and grooves when you uh, chamber around. So I'm using a... Um, Reading seating die with an RCBS press. This is a uh, has a digital micrometer on top, which makes it easy. It's currently set on 40, which is right at my lands and grooves. And so what I want to do is seat it a little bit long. So I'm going to back that out counterclockwise, about 15 thousandths. So you start out with a bullet seated long. You chamber that cartridge and if you notice right there the bolt won't close it won't close because that bullet is hitting the lands right now and that's where you want to start so you back out you want to go in in small increments so I'm gonna go in first time I'm gonna go in five one thousandths so I'm gonna actually seat the bullet five one thousandths deeper because I know that I'm fifteen thousandths out anyway Again, it won't, the bolt won't close, so you know you're still hitting it. So I'm going to go in another five thousandths, and after this I'll make smaller increments. Bolt still won't close, we're still hitting the lands. Doesn't take very long to do this. This time I'm going to go in two one thousandths. The closer you get, you want to go in with you know either one or two one thousandths with each each time. Right there it still won't close. We're still not quite off the lands yet. I'm going to go in one one thousandth this time. Still won't close but I can actually feel right there that it's starting to close a little bit further. Uh, just barely. So I know I'm real close. I'm going to go in one more one thousandth Okay, right there you can tell. We just got the bullet seated where it's just off the lands, probably a thousandth of an inch. It's a real good way to figure out how deep to uh, seat the bullet and find out where your lands is. So we got that done. Um, what you want to do then, once you get it seated right at the lands, is verify your number. So. This is a Sinclair bullet comparator for a 6.5 millimeter bullet. I'm going to zero the comparator and you actually work the bullet in where it's in there pretty good and then take your reading 2.443. Um, write that down. That's where your lands is at. I would repeat this probably two or three times with two or three different bullets uh, and take the average of all of them. Then you got a really good number. 
Um, the only other thing I wanted to do was demonstrate putting the firing pin back in. Basically I pull down on this again and I rotate this until I don't know if you can see that. There's a cut out here. I want it to be right on the top of this ridge. There's actually a notch right there for it. And then you're good to go. So there you go. That's what Joe taught me about having to, uh, how to find the lands. And uh, from there you can adjust your micrometer in ten thousandths or out ten thousandths depending on if you want to jump or a jam. And I guess that's it. Uh, again, we're with uh, TexasBenchRest.com, so we may stick this up on our website or YouTube if it's not too bad looking when I look at it. See you later.